Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Perko Trotter here with another squad builder. This time around we're going for a 4-2-3-1 Brazilian team. First up we have in goal Manuel Neuer, strictly speaking, not Brazilian I know. But uh, as you can see there, 85 diving, 91 kicking, 82 handling, 87 reflexes, 82 positioning. Definitely the best goalkeeper in the game in my opinion. I'll explain his inclusion in a little bit. Next up we have at left back, Marcello from Real Madrid. As you can see, 82 pace, 80 passing, 84 dribbling, 81 defending, 70 heading, a little bit of a letdown, but a very, very strong left back as you can see there, three star weak foot and skill moves, high medium work rates. Basically this team is built around an old hybrid as I was using in FIFA 14, a Brazilian German team, hence the inclusion there of Manuel Neuer. Our first centre half is Philippe Santana, as you can see there, 81 pace, which is a big plus, 77 defending and 84 heading. The defending rating can be a bit of a pain in the bum, but uh, his pace does make up for an awful lot in this game. He's just not quite the same beast he was in 13. And his defensive partner is Dante from Bayern Munich. Uh, he is 68 pace, uh, 76 passing, 70 dribbling, 84 defending and 81 heading. Very, very strong accompaniment and, uh, at centre-half there. Definitely the, the stronger of the two as far as the centre-halves go. I do remember using Tots Dante in uh, FIFA 13. He was my favourite centre-half by far. OK, next up a right-back. We've got Rafinha, also from Bayern Munich. I've used this guy in a couple of squads. You can see there, 79 pace, 77 passing, 79 dribbling. Defending stats are a little bit weak there with 72 defending, 61 heading. You definitely have to be very careful where you place this fella. He does have three-star weak foot and skill moves. High medium work rates. He's definitely a budget option. A right back there are definitely better center halves you can go with. Or, sorry, right backs you can go with. But he's not too bad all the same. Our first CDM is Ramirez from Chelsea. As you see there, 88 pace, which is a big bonus. 79 passing, 81 dribbling, 76 defense, 72 heading. He also has high, high work rates. 3-star weak foot and 3-star skill moves. You don't have to worry too much about the work rates when you have two CDMs. So Ramirez can more than happily get up and down and be covered by the following. Luis Gustavo. As you can see there, 75 pace, 76 passing, 72 dribbling, 83 heading and 77 heading. 3-star weak foot. Uh, very much a left, uh, left footed player. Do not attempt to score with his right foot, no matter what it says there. Uh, medium high work rate, so he's definitely the more defensive minded of the two CDMs. And uh, certainly strong enough. Okay, and our central cam is Diego. See there, 76 pace, 78 shooting, 83 passing, 87 dribbling. His defensive stats are a little bit weak, but we don't really need him for defense. He's definitely the man who pulls the strings midfield. You can see there, high medium work rates, four star weak foot and skill moves. I didn't have the best of luck shooting from outside the box with Diego. Other people say his long shot is quite good. I didn't score much with him, but his passing is unbelievable. Okay, and our left side of the cam is Wellington Nem from Shakhtar. 91 pace stands out, obviously, but his passing is also quite good there at 75, 82 dribbling. He can cause a nightmare for defenders, even if you just slow it down and take your hand off the pace button, just go at him normally. He can terrify defenders with his movement. I see their high medium work rates and three star weak foot and skill moves. His shooting can be a bit of a letdown though, I have to be honest with you there guys. Okay, on the right side of Cam is Pato. I see that 88 pace, 76 shooting, 65 passing, which is a bit of a nightmare, 83 dribbling. This man is all about the pace. I really wish his passing was a little bit better, but he does have four star weak foot and skill moves. He does get behind the lines with his pace and he's pretty decent on the ball as well to be fair. He's also quite good in the air with 75 heading, though you won't experience much joy with that playing him out on the right. Okay, and up front we have the Beast from FIFA 13, well, Wellington. As you can see there, he's got 86 pace, 73 shooting can be a bit of a letdown, 73 dribbling, not too bad, 71 heading. He also has 4-star weak foot and 4-star skill moves. He's an out-and-out -out finisher, don't expect much else from Wellington, he won't provide many assists. But he's still quite strong in this game, if not as outstanding as he has been previously. Okay guys, sit back and enjoy the highlights, and if you enjoy the video, please leave a like, possibly even subscribe if you want to see more content. Thanks.